Hey there, Twinkles. Heading back into the throne world? Gonna hope Savathun left some tips about beating Zivu you can peek at. Because from where I'm sitting, Eris doesn't have a clue. I don't think you realize how lost you'd be without Savathun's plan. Even dead, she's smarter than you. She had it all figured out years ago. Take the Traveler, seal it away, keep it hidden from the witness, clean and easy. But there's nothing you Guardians hate more than a plan you're not the center of. So you stormed the gates. Liberated your darling Traveler, and put it exactly where the Witness knew you would. And now, here we are, with everything pretty much ruined. So go ahead, keep trying to outsmart Sabathun, when she's just trying to undo all the damage you've done. The Traveler didn't make a mistake when it chose the Hive. It was fixing the mistake it made when it chose you. Social arthropods. This is First Ghost Imaru talking. Scoring at some vendetta to settle with the Guardians. Stand back and let them do our job for us.
antisocial arthropods. This is First Ghost Imaru talking. Scorner reinforcing. Good chance for us to do likewise before the Guardians count it. Too late. They're coming your way.
Welcome back, Sloan. It's good to be back. But from Masa's impressions, I guess this isn't a social call. Unfortunately not. What do you know about Eris's plan? Only that she and Asa are bound by some kind of hive ritual. I was against it, but like Asa said, sometimes we have to become our enemies to defeat them. That's exactly what concerns me. Sloane, I need to speak with her. No. Asa's done enough for the Vanguard. She's barely recovered from... I will speak. Bound by covenant, tithes held between uh, a current. You're helping Eris contain the energy from the tithes. Eroding, hollowing, release in time, or remain bound without end. <sighs> If the ritual goes on for too long, Eris will be trapped as a hive. And Asa will be corrupted. Twisted into... something horrible. Ikora, I'll tear the tower to the ground before I let anything happen to her. It won't come to that, Sloan. I promise. Guardian, I have been taking time to reflect on Ikora's conversation with Sloane and Asa. I knew there would be torment in embracing the Hive and the poisonous squall of their violence. I thought myself prepared for it. I have lived long in Shadow, and the shrieking horrors of the Hive would provide solace from my quotidian dreams. When I named the worms, I evoked only their resonance. But Asa responded. She is a willing and vital catalyst to empower my morph, but her pain is real and immense. My aim in this grotesque conversion was to shoulder the risk myself. But feeding from Asa's suffering, that is a line I did not think I would cross. Guardian, keep by my side so that we may soon leave these deeds behind us. I refuse to become something I am not. Gods extract their sustenance from between what is and what might be, between the actual and the possible. When the Hive made their ill-fated pact with these worms, they gained immortality and the power to make of the world as they willed. Few beings in this universe derive their power this way. The Queen of the Reef believes it is the same method as the Ahamkara, the Wish Dragons were too dangerous to exist. 
So is Zivu Arath. My connection to Asa is regrettable. But this was the only path towards my goal. I invoked the worms, and she answered. And did you know that this would happen? It was possible, as all things are possible with this kind of power. This bond has not been attempted since the Worm Gods made their bargain with Witness. Asa may have rejected it then, but the desire to overpower the universe with one's will is woven into her being. She is not beholden to it, not addicted or enslaved. The Deep is not her nature, but I have tangled myself within this desire through the use of the Staff's larva. Now I possess her power. This could kill both of you. That risk is ours to take. Alright, and there we have it. Week 4 story. A lot of interesting things about this one here. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of confused on this. Um, a little bit. Because, on one hand, for a second there, I thought that Eris was going to... Well, not at that moment or at this moment, but I got the feeling that um that Eris would reject doing reject said plan because on one hand you got Sloan is willing to do anything and everything to protect um I don't know how I forgot the the name and it just said it but pr protect the the thing right uh which she's willing to go against literally the tower to do so uh you got ikora which is conflicted between two on on two fronts on one hand she doesn't really agree what Ares is doing and then on another on the other end it's a necessary thing that must happen if if i don't want to say we but if we uh it's necessary for us to be able to beat zivu and the witness uh which is ridiculous to say in the same sentence there but and then on this last part it made it seem as though that eris and asa that's what it's eris and asa are both doing this together uh, like they came to the choice of doing so although it is hurting Asa and Ares is regretful for doing so and not wanting to hurt Asa and not wanting to use but in order to get such power they kind of have to play this tangling effect with one another in order to make this happen or succeed in uh succeed in in beating um both of these other entities so it's kind of it's kind of confused it's kind of like it's it's clear like i understand it clearly but it's like bouncing all it's like bouncing from here to there in this week's stories i don't know i don't know how to feel about this one um but um but yeah I guess we'll see uh, as this unfold, or uh, I could go and read the uh, lore, which I don't do too much of, because it's time. Uh, I do a lot of stuff, so time is kind of like having to find time to do so, but I figured out I'm going to uh, read this week's uh, lore book. 
with that being said, uh, that is it for this week, week's four story. Uh, the dialogue amongst our uh, our uh, individuals, I should say, our guardians, our individuals. And oh yeah, Himaru actually said something that was. I don't know if that's gonna come back up in this in this season story or next season's story, but he actually said something that stuck out to me about the traveler choosing the hive and basically um, fixing the mistakes that the guardians uh, or fixing the mistakes that it made when it decided to choose the guardians. I think that is very, very, very important. And also, Maru said that that the guardians or the light or whatever you would like to describe it as love sticking its nose into something that it is not the center of and that has been happening every single season there's ever been and it is quite indeed annoying at this point um that and the hero effect are both annoying things personally for me they're annoying annoying because although the story of destiny is it's like alive and it's unfolding and all of these things it's just a lot of these things are just predictable now at this point um we fight we win we go about doing whatever it is that we do another entity stronger from the past or maybe new pops up turmoil we fight we win and it's just like it's just the same thing it's just the same thing um but I mean, yeah, other than that, this was a very interesting uh, week right here. I have to figure out what I'm going to title this week's video. Uh, but this right here was quite, quite interesting. I think I know what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call this uh, week's video Regret. I'm going to just call it that because Imaro made it seem like the Traveler is doing what it is doing because it, uh, in a regretful way towards us because of the actions that we take upon doing things. And Eris, which is also the, the star amongst uh, Sabathu and Imaro for this week, and she has a bit of regret of using Asa in a way to continue with obtaining this level of power. Yeah, that's what I'm going to call it. Regret. But I'm done rambling on right there. That has been this week's uh, story. Uh, very interesting week. I actually like this week. Although there wasn't like a lot of action and stuff like that. I actually like how this is unfolding right here. This is getting, this is getting quite interesting. Um, but stop rambling on right there that's going to be the end of this right here i am pointed get that, that like button hit that subscribe button get down there in the comment section let me know what you think about this week's story or this season's story so far um for your viewership and that is going to be it for me i will catch you